Okay, this is just a quick video to show you how to change default behavior of iMessage apps on the Mac. Uh, enter to send messages because by default you've probably realized that if you press enter it will send the message, right? And if you want to actually create a new line in the messages, you can press shift enter, you can press control enter, you can press option or alt enter and it will all create new lines. And to send a message again, you can either press enter or you press command enter. So if you want to by default to essentially create line uh, by pressing enter, the easiest way how to do this, the easiest way, is to use a program called Better Touch Tools. It is extremely powerful app, it is a paid app, but if you're not using it on a Mac, you're missing out a lot. So what you can do in this specific application is to create custom shortcut for messages app specifically. So you select your application, we do this exactly for messages, so it's not gonna affect anything else. And what's really powerful about Better Touch Tools is that you can create add a new shortcut and click to record shortcut you can type anything because if you've noticed uh, in system preferences in keyboard and shortcuts you cannot really just type essentially only one character like enter so you cannot change this default behavior you need to essentially use an external uh, program and so here we can essentially type enter and then what we need to do what we want to do is when we type enter to trigger well let's say control enter because this is essentially like uh, least used key on a keyboard on the mac anyway and that's it we just make sure that it, it is enabled and then we go and uh, create line we press uh, we press enter and uh, it creates new line and shift enter creates new line control enter alt enter and just enter creates new lines as well if we want to send the message we uh, use command enter and it will send the message it is annoying that this is not a built-in uh, like tool in into messages into mac os like in general but this is a quick and easy fix okay there are other ways how to do this um, essentially there is like one similar to better touch tools application called multi-touch uh, i installed it i tried it just for a second because there is an option in that application to also select essentially control enter and enter but it creates a shortcut for all the applications it is not per application and it is also a paid app so if you're gonna pay pay for better touch tools because it is way better better touch tools for mac os is almost like essential you can create so many different sort of trackpad gestures left and right and whatnot but this is not a video about um, essentially better touch tools application but i would strongly encourage everybody to use it there is another free option but it is more complicated and unfortunately it is slightly shady sort of it has this potential anyway it is called carabiner and um, essentially it will look like this carabiner elements it is essentially like a remapping tool so it, it essentially like changes keys on the keyboard to different ones it is not really what we need uh, or what we want there is this kind of a scripting sort of a part of it so although it's rather simple it is still code it is not as easy as literally clicking two buttons in uh, better touch tools and then going your way and everything is fine and working and also what's slightly worrying about um, carabiner is the fact that it wants to monitor your inputs so it is essentially like a key logger and if it ever becomes compromised, essentially it can capture like all of the information that you type. And I would kind of advise to not use tools like that, even if it's sort of benign, because, well, you never know when it can become like malicious. And as you can see in input monitoring sort of uh, portion of security and privacy settings in Mac OS, there is Carabiner, but there is no Better Touch tools because Better Touch tools only uses accessibility. So it does it in a different way instead of like looking basically at everything that you do and at every keystroke that you're essentially pressing on your Mac. And you can see that uh, sort of system extension was blocked by default by Mac OS because there is a possibility for this app to be kind of uh, malicious. So again, even though it is a well-known and free app, I would personally avoid it and I would much better pay for better touch tools actually. And plus you need to deal with like code to some degree in Carabiner, which is worse than just like GUI graphical user interface of better touch tools. So yeah, this is how you create 
a shortcut in macOS for your messages app to use enter to just create a single line and not send messages all the time. As I was researching more, apparently I found like previous website for better touch tools before it uh, became like a paid program. I'm pretty sure it was like a free program. And I think this is official website of um, Andreas Hedgenberg, the creator. It, he's a solo developer essentially of better touch tools. But apparently this is like last free version. Um, this uh, is an old version 2.342. I'm using 2.4 something version that I bought actually a long time ago. I just never updated it to like a newer version after that license kind of the updates for that license expired so now i need to like rebuy it again however mine still works mine is 2.428 and it still works perfectly fine even though it doesn't get like new updates so if you want to try if this will work you can probably even solve this problem with uh, changing enter to uh, create new line behavior probably for free in the best way possible. So I will include this link into the description and I will probably upload this also to my GitHub just in case this website goes down. I think this is official address website, but just in case. Uh, so yeah, links will be in the description. So probably you can actually solve all of this for free in the best way possible by installing like a free version of uh, better touch tools just understand that uh, this is sort of like an older version and on a newer system it might not work however if you find this app uh, useful please buy like a full license for better touch tools support the indie developer because he's created like one of the best apps for mac os and macbooks like ever but yeah link will be in the description for this uh, free version essentially so yeah if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video, and uh, yeah, share it around if anybody else surf has the same problem. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.